You can find the equations filter in the filters menu, distort and equations. With the equations panel here, you can see that I've got a formula already there. I'll put that in the description below. Also, I'll be saving the original source image as well as the macro, because the key thing here, there's no presets. So a workaround macro, so you can record it. So I'm just going to record it. Now you can modify the parameters. So you can see there you can get a variety of different effects just from the same formula. Also I've got extend mode mirror. So I'm just going to go over here and record the macro. So just record and you can see the original source image. That will be included. And then you can still continue. Once you're happy with that, click apply. Now I've got the equation over there. Equations you can see there. Stop the thing. I could add other effects of course. So that's stopped. What I can now do, I can export it. So I'm just going to the right side there and I can click export. I'm just going to call it distort three. It's saved to its own format. So save. And then what I can do, I can import it. And that's the key thing for you. Just get the file and then you can import. So import and just select it. And then you will see the equation there. And of course, once you've got it, you can apply it to any image, not just the image source image, of course. And then you just apply it. Apply it a couple of times and you can see the effect there. What would you like to see with the equations filter? What other functionality would you like? Please put in the comments below. Also, a dislike or like, always appreciated. Thank you much.